But I do want to shift gears a bit here and talk about a little bit of uh, U.S. Women's National Team news. What do we need to know that went down this week? So into the news, I, I just feel like we cannot do this podcast without mentioning the retirement of Sam Mewis, one of the greatest midfielders in the history of the USA. And that is not an easy list to crack. It makes sense to me that social media was full of people essentially mourning the end of Mewis's playing career. I thought that was rightfully so. And every sport uh, has their kind of what if players uh, whose careers are cut short by injuries. Uh, in America, I think of NFL players like Bo Jackson and Sterling Sharp. In the NBA, I think of players like Yao Ming or local Seattle legend Brandon Roy. But here's a key thing about Sam Mewis's career. I really believe in this, is I don't think we have to ask what if. We got to see her win in the biggest spots at the peak of her powers. She essentially played the exact same position as Lindsey Horan, another all-time great central midfielder in the history of our program. And they both had to be on the field in the 2019 World Cup. There was no way that Jill Ellis, then U.S. Women's National Team Manager, could have looked her team in the face and said, I played our best 11 if Sam Mewis was not on that pitch. She had a combination of genius passing, perfectly timed defending, and just an all-world shooting ability from outside the 18 that made it impossible for her to not be on the team sheet for whatever squad she played in, domestic or international play. So yes, of course, we should be bummed out that we don't get to see her play again. But we should also always remember how she played and what a joy it was to watch. Yeah, very well said. You don't generally get to be a what if and a certified legend. But <laughs> yeah. I mean, you look at her resume, 92 NWSL appearances, 17 in the WSL for your Sky Blues. Going to go through a couple accolades here. Go ahead. FIFA Under-20 Women's World Cup Champion 2012. She wins a Natty at UCLA 2013. Three NWSL Championships. NWSL Best 11 in 2017. Three NWSL Shields. 2019 World Cup Champion. Played in all six matches. Two goals, four assists in that run. Women's FA Cup 2019. Olympic Bronze Medal 2020. Just perennial winner. Trophies pretty much every year she was active. And a player that as recently as 2021 was ranked by ESPN FC as the number one women's footballer in the world. World. So this fucking list that we tore apart <laughs> for, for two weeks, uh, she was number one in that list just a few years back. So yeah, kind of sad, but good time to kind of like reflect on still an unbelievable career, even if we wonder what if, I mean, that's just kind of how bright stars go sometimes, you know, they, they burn fast, they burn hot. And that's kind of why we try to appreciate what we get to see week in, week out on this show, because obviously none of it's promised and just kind of keeps us centered and grounded in the moment. Uh, again, showing appreciation for the for the game that we love. For sure. And I and I think I'd be remiss if, if we didn't mention she is now the editor in chief of the Women's Game Vertical for Men in Blazers, uh, their podcast network. Let's go. And I mean, anybody who got to see her do World Cup coverage, instantly good at that, too. Uh, let's let it <laughs> might be easier. Yeah, it might be easier for us to try to find things that she's not good at, I guess. Was also really funny on her podcast. Uh, she hosted with Lynn Williams, who's a, her best friend, as, as she as she says. They had a podcast called Snacks, which is just a hilarious name for a podcast, I think, for two footballers. So, yeah, I look forward to seeing what she's going to do now in the media space. She's incredibly thoughtful, also doesn't hold back, you know, talks about the tactics of, of the matches that she's watching. So, you know, surprise, surprise, like you said, uh, she's going to be good at that too. Shout to her, Manchester City legend, Sam Mewis. Thank you for your service. We appreciate you. Anything else you want to hit before we get out of here? I think we did it, my man. We, we got a full slate of Champions League games coming up. Let's go. Fully full. All right, man. I think we did it. It's been another episode of Into the Channel. Subscribe or follow us, YouTube, Spotify, Apple Podcasts, or wherever you like to watch or listen. Comments, ratings, reviews. We appreciate all of them. Keep them coming at ITC underscore pod on X at into the channel pod on threads. Huge thank you to my co-host, Mr. Grant Angle for always bringing El Lavandino de la Cucina to the podcast. <laughs> I appreciate that, buddy. Thank you. And the, the Italian flair is great. We got two more matches of St. Polton. I might be able to creep some more Stone Temple Pilot references in there. We'll see. I believe in you. <laughs> all right, buddy. I'll talk to you later. Sounds good to you. Yeah.